Hey everyone, this is Todd Hazleton with MobileBurn.com and today we're checking out the T-Mobile Garmin phone. It's launching in June, they haven't given us a specific date yet, but it'll cost $199.99 with a two-year contract. <clears throat> I spent some time yesterday with Garmin and T-Mobile to check out this device. Did a little scavenger hunt in the city just so I could get accustomed to it and how it works. So quickly we'll go through an unboxing and I'll uh, get it fired up for you here. Now as a, a Garmin phone, it obviously has a focus around GPS, so you'll see as I go through the box here, it comes with some accessories. Here's the device itself. Moving around, this is the uh, car port here. Power button. Volume controls. Little speaker there. It's a camera quick launch button. It's a, let's see, micro USB slot here. Actually, that's mini USB, and uh, it looks proprietary. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it'll work with you know most mini USB ports. Nice uh, metal logo thing here in the back. Another speaker, and that's a 3.2 megapixel camera, autofocus, but no flash. <clears throat> mini USB cable. The uh, adapter that goes with it here. Pop it in. Headphones and an adapter. Uh, it doesn't have a three and a half millimeter headphone jack, so you'll need to use that. Car charger, wall mount for your car. It goes with the stand and the uh, suction cup and everything here. And there's a getting started booklet, SIM card, and that's that. That's what's inside the box. Let's get the device powered up here and we'll show you how it works. Okay, here we are with the the, the Garmin phone here turned on. <clears throat> Main menu, it's uh, got a Garmin custom user interface here. We have call, where to, view map, then this side scroll bar. You can customize this, I'll show you how in a second. Contacts, messaging, email, browser, widgets, visual voicemail, calendar, weather, and camera. Now if you want to customize that, say we don't want visual voicemail there, you hold it, drag it off, and say we wanted gallery. We can drag it on. So very intuitive, <clears throat> very easy to use. Quickly show you the call app here. Dial pad. You have your list of contacts. Pull down, separated by uh, alphabetical order there. And I like this. Favorites. Here you have uh, my own and my buddy Tom. So say you're driving around in a car here in landscape mode. You can quickly just hit the favorites button, hit Todd, hit call, send message or go if you want to navigate to me. Um, very easy to use and I think that's key because when you're driving you don't want to have to uh, try to dig through menus. You can just quickly see what you want, tap it and go. Let's see, I can show you here. We can go to where to. You can choose points of interest, an address, local search, save, save locations. A lot of these are what you'd expect uh, on the original Nubi phone or from a Garmin device. I'll show you how the navigation works in just a second here is the map. You can see it's pinched to zoom here so it supports multi-touch. It's where I am right in Manhattan. You can see the GPS icon here has us. and It's kind of rare sometimes. It's hard to get a good signal in Manhattan but this is having no trouble now, neat thing is here, being a Garmin phone, any address you have, it'll quickly uh, turn into a link so you can quickly navigate to it. So here, you can see I have a, an address typed out here to a restaurant. Um, it worked that time, but this time when I had it in this format here where I sort of had it as a list, it didn't link at all. So, but to show you, you just quickly click it. Pulls up the address on a map here. This is taking a bit longer than it did when I uh, did this earlier. Okay, so it's, it found the address. And from here we can just 
view it again and click go and I can choose between driving or walking and it'll start navigating from where I am right now I hit driving just taking a couple seconds here and here we go we have the uh, option to navigate right there if I was in a car drive to highlight it out you know, we can view the traffic along my route zoom in and out here doesn't look like pinch to zooms there but it, oh it did work pinch to zoom we have a little bit of a compass and has the estimated arrival time average speed as we move along and of course the next direction here which you can view then in a list as an Android phone also you can see here we have my notifications I have email, I have a message from my friend but it also includes my driving directions here and I can click detour uh, should I need that so we'll go home showed you contacts messaging threaded messaging here please drive to highlight it route you can see actually my navigation is going on in the background so I'll stop that you can see it's threaded messaging back and forth here it was with a flight status application so we want to find <clears throat> an airport near my city here I'm in New York so John F. Kennedy, JFK. Here you can search by flight number, number, arrivals, departures. And then by airline here to see how they're doing today. Looks like most of the flights are on time for Air China. Other neat apps, Movie Times, Where Am I, Chow. I believe this is a chat messaging application that you can use with other friends on Garmin devices. You can kind of chat and see where each other are. Of course, you can use Latitude and Google Maps for that. Uh, again, so Maps here, Gmail, all the services you'd expect from an Android device. This is running Android 1.6, Google Talk, the uh, Amazon MP3 store. A converter app Facebook now what's neat about that is you typically see this and say hey like how do I access widgets and etc that's what here if you click widgets you get the, the customizable home screens here you have five that you'd expect and then you can add say you want a latitude add to those home screens so you can still check your Facebook updates etc play music just by hitting widgets there. Here's a weather application. <coughs> you can see it's misty. 46 degrees here in New York. Clip Wednesday, light rain, mostly cloudy. Be good weather app there. Garmin Voice Studio. It looks like we have to download it, but I believe that lets you use your own voice. But, or at least maybe not use your own. You could uh, search for other voices. It looks like document viewer. Check out the browser real quick. Here I have mobile burn loaded. Pinch to zoom again. Pretty snappy here over uh, T-Mobile's 3G network. This supports Wi-Fi as, as well, I believe. see here this folder button so you can add favorites your history most visited sites and go back and forward or quickly view or access other pages with we'll a new page so pretty decent web browser there let me go to the gallery I took a couple pictures sitting down 3.2 megapixel camera seems okay no flash though so it's not the uh, the best I'll see how quick it can take a shot 
Actually, it looks very foggy right here. I'm sure you can see it through the camera, too. You really have to push the button down. It's, it doesn't go down very easy up here. It's, it takes some force. Now, back in the camera app, <clears throat> you can hit this record button to record video as well. And this pin will stop. This pin lets you decide if you want to geotag where you are. I'll click no for now. The where to app, I was looking at this earlier too. You can, uh, I thought it was pretty neat. You can choose coordinates. Obviously, you'd expect that from a GPS phone, but this is for those geocachers out there, anybody who likes to hike. Um, this does have uh, extra maps on it for hiking, so if you want a topographical map uh, for the nearby mountains and stuff, Garmin said that that is preloaded on here. Of course, you might want to have a rugged cover of sorts just to make sure you don't damage the device. Battery life seems to be okay so far. I've had this on since about 11 a.m., 10.30 or so, and it's 3 o'clock. We look to be about 70%. Um, I'll quickly click gas prices here, check out some of these other extra features. Here you go. So, of the few gas stations in Manhattan here, here's a Shell with three dollars and fifteen cents a gallon. Mobile three twenty. See what the extras here is. No extras yet. Upcoming events. Sports. Washington Nationals at New York Mets. We'll click that. And it looks like we can actually just go right here to call for ticket information. Let's see view map. And we could actually get directions all the way out there as well. Google local search. We'll do that. Keyboard seems to be pretty good. I was typing earlier, no problems there. I searched burgers. Here's Burger Heaven. I've actually ordered there from before. It's pretty good. Nearby. And of course, so it pins it. We can uh, navigate there if we wanted to. And like I said earlier, this can all be in landscape mode should you have it in your car dock too. You can always interact with it either way. Calendar's a little different, not quite stock here. That, uh, it's a quick look here. The T-Mobile Garmin phone, again, it's $199.99. It's about $200 there uh, with a two-year contract from T-Mobile. This is Todd Hazelton with MobileBurn.com.